Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jonathan Henley. I apologize in advance for any interruptions that you may hear that will interrupt the sound um, during the process of this video. Today I'm going to be talking about ERP. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning and you guys are all here and for me to share with you guys on what ERP is. ERP is an integrated system that collects and processes data and manages and coordinates that data and also resources, information, and functions throughout a whole entire organization. So the most common ways and most common uses of ERP that we notice today are companies such as Microsoft, Oracle, and SAP. So I would first like to start off with just examples and just one big example that I saw in a YouTube video that I will link down below is it shared more about retail and how ERP functions within a retail industry. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. So say you have a company that is doing clothing. For your company to be successful and you to have everything in control, you would need an ERP system. This ERP system will not only help you understand what your company needs to function properly, and it, with that being said, to be functioning properly, you need the right materials to be used, you need the right amount of numbers of people to be used within the workspace, and also the the amount of work, so that the time that is needed to have everything be done. With an ERP system, all of those questions, everything will be figured out for you right on the spot, and you will not need to do it all manually by hand. So with all that being said, with a personal experience that I have with ERP, I worked at Converse, the shoe store, over winter break and over summer break, and during that time I got really connected with my boss there, and me and him talked a lot about the different ways that we can make the company function better and function more properly and also be connected more in with the distribution center and also with the company as a whole. So the headquarters out in Boston. With us being in California, that was kind of difficult, but we did figure it all out. So one of the ways that we discussed how things we can, how we can function the company to be working more properly and manage it better was to have an ERP system. So we downloaded this system and we found out that, well, we got everyone's hours first and made sure that they would be accountable for those hours so we wouldn't have any situations or any problems with that. And from there, just seeing the the amount of success that we, we had from that whole process of getting everyone's hours and using that ERP system to make sure everything was working properly within the company. We not only went up in our sales, we went up also in just the productivity of everyone working there because we all understood our hours. And also we used ERP to understand what products were coming in and what days we needed to work to do stock and everything of that nature. So with all that being said, ERP in, in a sense in general, what it does is it takes care of orders it takes care of customers who want that product and also it it stores people's information. So when you order stuff from a website, say like Amazon or any other website like that, and you have like all your information set in stone in there and like you can click, I think for Apple products it's called autofill. So you can just type in like the first letter of your name and it has it all filled out and ready for you to go. There's other websites, I believe one's called Shopify and they'll actually have a code sent to your phone through a text message to make sure your order is secure and to make sure that you are good to go with what you have purchased. So with all that being said, I w recently saw a video that was posted by Oracle explaining when ERP started and at the beginning of ERP in the beginning stages in the 90s, they recognized that there was a need for helping resource and plan everything out with multiple companies out there because obviously as the world continues to grow, there's more people that are populating the world. So ERP couldn't keep up in the very beginning with modern security in the early 2000s. So Oracle decided to do the cloud. So in the early 2000s, so 10 years ago, 20 years ago now, they decided to use the cloud and the cloud is something that we know all all about now and from this problem of from happening in the early 90s the cloud was used to help secure everyone's information and obviously even to this day people are skeptical about the cloud but ERP is what really helps push forward what the cloud is 
and it helps keep secure everyone's information. So with ERP, there are multiple benefits. So it improves the customer satisfaction, like we saw within, um, it, it, it improved the customer satisfaction and it included improved the employee satisfaction while I was working at Converse. It improved the planning and scheduling out. So through my personal example, we did it with the scheduling and it improves supplier relationships. So we improved within me working with my boss, we improved how we talked to the dis distribution center and everything within that. And we did have a reduction of our labor costs. So we weren't having people work an hour that they weren't supposed to be working. They had set in stone time so that they would be productive right when they get into work and we would have a great day. And it also increases the sufficiency. So through our, me and my boss is talking of everything to make our work better, we had a lot of sufficiency between us and our customers that we had within the store and, and also the, the relationship between the associates and the upper management. So with all that being said, there are many great things that you can get with ERP, but there are a lot of setbacks. One of those setbacks would be the high cost. Many of the ERP systems that we notice out there today, like Oracle, SAP, and Microsoft, all those systems are pretty pricey, running at above $100 or so. And there's also a difficulty in the installation process, but you can always use their step-by-step -step programs that they have to help you out with that. And there's also a need for training. So with everything, it's gonna take time for you to be great at what you're doing, and especially when it comes to ERP. And there's also a compatibility problem with the legacy systems. Um, excuse me. With all that being said, there's a lot to be talked about and a lot to discuss, but hopefully with what I shared with you, you guys can understand a gist of what ERP is and how it has not only benefited me, but, but looking forward and how it could possibly benefit future companies that you guys may work for or anything within the future of what you guys are doing. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope you guys kill the rest of the semester. Have a good one, guys.